Hi all and welcome to part one of this Let's Play of Transcendence Legacy Void Swept. This is the very first time I'm playing this game because it actually, at the time of recording, came out only yesterday. And we'll do a new game. Please select a difficulty. This cannot be changed later. And we have beginner, standard and expert. But before we do that, I just wanted to say that if you happen to like this video further on or even the channel, I would love it if you dropped a sub or a like. And I would also love it if you dropped a comment either about the Let's Play or about the game, because this is, as I said, just out at the time of recording. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who might want to know how you feel about the game. So yeah, having said that, I think standard will be what I pick. The default intended difficulty for the game. Proceed with this difficulty. Yes, indeed. You're awake at last, my child. Can you hear me? A cruel fate has befallen these lands. Make your way to the pristine cathedral. Then we shall meet and all will be revealed. You're finally awake. Hmm? You can't remember anything too? Can you recall your name at least? Uh, Sarth. My name is Sarth. That's the only thing I can remember. Climbing. I am climbing. Much like you. I uh, seem to have lost my memories as well. All I remember is that I need to go to the pristine cathedral. Huh? The pristine cathedral? Someone is waiting for me at that place. Our destination is the same then. But first, we should find a way out of this place. Malicious creatures roam around. Tutorial. Scientia Potentia Est. Use the D-pad arrow keys to move. Press A or Z or Enter to interact with objects and NPCs. Open the main menu by pressing Y, X or Escape. Voice Beckons has been added to the quest journal. To open the quest journal, select a quest from the main menu and you'll be able to see the list of active and completed quests. Oh, Misty Woodland Danger Level 1. Zark, I don't need to go there. Okay, so I should add that I am running the Steam version of the game and I am also using a gamepad. And from what I can tell, it works just fine. And the only tweaks I've done is that I have lowered the audio a little bit and that I've put always sprint on so that I move slightly faster. That's it. Oh, let's take a look at the quest. We only have one. A voice beckons. Description. With no trace of their memory, Zart and Zilmin. Uh, remember all of their names and a place they must go to. Find a way out of the forest and you will get an elixir. Hmm. So, climbing... Yeah, that's probably a bit of an error. Because I think climbing is her name. Can you fight? 
Defeat enemies by utilizing various attacks and skills. Characters with the highest agility will move first. Defending will reduce damage taken from enemy attacks and restore a small amount of MP. Enemies take more damage from elements and weapon types that they are weak against. These weaknesses are displayed under the enemy's name. The items will be revealed once they are hit with said element or weapon type. Frequent uses of skills increases their master level, increasing their damage slash healing power and lowering their MP cost. That is a cool thing. So we have attack, skills, defend and items. And right now we probably don't know anything about the enemies. Weapon skill. This weapon based physical damage with a chance to inflict poison or tenebrous. Defensive magic. Deals dark magic damage to a single foe. This was called Venin Raid. Let's use tenebrous on either Enigma or the Vespid. Yeah. Vespid. She has attack, skills, defend, and items, and her skills are either. Benevolence, restores HP to single ally, or Lumen, deals holy magic damage to one enemy. Let's use it on the Vespid as well. I actually think... Yeah. I think the name of the enemy changes color depending on how much life they have left. Aftermath, and we get money, hornet sting, and enigma drops. Are you hurt? Climbing possesses a lyre flowing with restorative energy, which can be used to heal a percentage amount of HP to all allies outside of battle. However, this item has a limited number of uses that can be replenished at campfire areas. Just like Dark Souls games. So it doesn't look like you can interact with these things. Oh, that one didn't like. didn't like his magic, but I think we should try and hold back on the MP. Light flask. Okay, I would imagine that's good. Resource 25% of all allies max HP and uh, max MP. Three uses left. Okay, that's a hundred. We get nothing. Long sword and basic garment. Optimize. And what does she have? Apprentice rod and silk robe. We probably have very basic stuff right now. That was very good. Hey, we got our first rank up. Zarth has reached rank 2. Climbing has reached rank 2. Battle spoils. Okay, we can go either upwards or to the left. We'll start to the left and then make our way back. I'll be really thorough if possible in this game. Oh, so uh, ranking up will give us the full MP HP back. That's good to know. So that was a crit. Beautiful. 
Okay, that was not as beautiful. Good thing that climb in hit. With her attack? Okay, that's new. Skill up. Very nice. Nice. Very rude. There's such a thing as a back attack. Life flask. Fortifying. The rudeness. Now it's time to hit back. We are getting close to the next rank up. 250 gold. That's not bad. Okay, so we can't go any further in this direction. Nice. Rank up time. Rank 3. a save point? Chest key, okay. That's probably good. key to open yes spirit card what is that then permanently increase a character's max HP by 10 permanently use a character's max MP by 5 okay so let's use that and let's use the spirit card on climbing Very cool. Get two chests. Spirit pod. Wonder what that is.
None too bad. Okay, that I didn't like as much. Please die. that part? Spirit part restores 50 MP. Okay, that's not bad. Anima flask. No, nope, can't go any further there. Five hundred HP. Okay, let's start with the defense on both of them, yeah. Very nice. Oh, and another skill up. And we are close to rank up as well. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, we've been there, so I think this is the way to go now. Double nice. Yeah, he has the defense up, so it's probably not worth going in with the melee attacks. have a double rank up. Rank 4. Which means we get full HP and MP again. Interact with an inactive campfire to activate it. HP, MP and Benevolent Liar's number of use will automatically be replenished upon entering areas with an activated campfire. You can also save your progress by interacting with the campfire. Very nice. Yeah, it's back. It's back alright. I am kinda loving the music in this game. Reminds me a lot of Secret of Mana from way back then.
See if we can join the chest before the enemy. Yes. Revival Bomb. You know what? Let's try this. We haven't done that. I think it actually worked. Yes, it does work. Skill up. Awesome. There we go. What was that item? Revival bomb. Revives a knocked out alley. Okay, so alley. Alley. With half health. So that's our first revival item. I think. Yeah. There's more forest to explore? Go in this direction? Locked? Okay, we need more keys. Oh, this could get dicey. Okay, less dicey now. We need another key for that. Elixir. And another revival bomb? more of this. Hopefully we'll get 
enough to, you know. Haha! <laughs> no, you won't. Well, mm. Ah! You over there! Could you lend me a hand? This thing is pretty tough. My name is Shar. I'll be sure to repay you later. I think we have our first boss fight. Mist Crawler. That did a lot of damage. Okay, so... Well, we don't know what that is, so we'll have to... Weapon skill. Deal strong weapon base, physical damage to a single foot. Vigor charge, and also fortify. That was a good call. And we got the rank up. Rank 5. And another elixir. And we got the achievement out of the woods. Thank you. I wouldn't have stood a chance against that thing on my own. As I said, I will repay you as thanks. Is there anything you want? Do you know anything about the pristine cathedral? Hmm. The pristine cathedral? I've never heard of such a place. Actually, where did you two come from? Nothing but those monsters lurk in this area. Memory loss, huh? Well, things like that could happen, I suppose. Strange things happen after that catastrophe. Catastrophe? Ah, we should find a safer place to share. I'll show you to our base. It's not far, but it's much safer compared to here. This is a village? Seems like it used to be a village, but now these ruins are all that remains. Not a single soul lives here, until we discovered this place and decided to use it as a base. Anyways, go take a look around if you want, and come talk to me when you're finished. I'll tell you everything that you should know. The quest A Voice Beckons has been marked as complete. Illuminated Palace has been added to the quest journal. Yeah, we got out of the forest and we got an elixir. Led by... That's a weird name, Tsar? The two arrived at what seems to be a ruined village. Talk to Tsar and get an elixir. Is this one of those good fires? 
Yeah, I think it is. Okay, let's see. Just quickly. We should talk to Zara. Yeah, okay. I think this might just be a perfect place to end up this very first part of this Let's Play. I hope you had as much fun as I had and that you might hit those like and subscribe buttons. I also hope to see you again in the very next part. But for now, it is time to say bye-bye.